Hey, we're gonna be testing some face masks we bought on Amazon today. Um, we're gonna do three different tests when we test these face masks. The first one's gonna be for comfort. My wife's actually gonna try them on and see how comfortable they are. And then after that, we're gonna do what's called the uh, Bill Nye candle blow test, where you stand about a foot away from this candle and try to blow it out. And you can get closer and closer if you want. And the better the face mask is as far as resistance to the virus, you shouldn't even see that flame flicker with some of the masks. Some of them you'll actually make the flame flicker, some you can blow it out. Some people actually wear a bandana which you can blow the candle out from a foot away, so a bandana is really not a great idea. The third test we're going to do is a water resistance test just to see if it, the mask treads water or if it absorbs it right away. We're just going to dump some drops of water on it and test the water resistance because the virus spreads from moist droplets in the air also, so water resistance is a pretty important factor. All right, I'm going to be testing out the dust face masks from the brand um, Page One, and it actually comes with a bunch of little carbon filters. Um, this mask is, I believe it's five layers, and it is 100% cotton. And as you can see, it does have its little pocket here, um, so you can stick in your filter. First, I'm going to test it without having the filter in. So, and I do wear contacts most of the time, so for me, um, with my contacts in right now, and just overall on my face and everything, it is very comfortable. Um, I would probably give it a 4.5. Um, I do like that it comes with the ear loop strap so you can actually adjust it. Um, but just in case I decide to take off my, or take out my contacts, I just want to show you what it would be like with glasses on. And I do actually see a tiny little bit of fog when I'm breathing in and out. So. To me that would be annoying, so I would probably give it probably a 3.5 as far as the fog factor goes for my glasses. Um, but anyway, I'm going to try and blow out this candle here really quick. <laughs> yeah, no, that's not happening. <laughs> I'm going to throw it backwards real quick. And, <laughs> yeah, I'm going to try not to run out of air here. Five out of five there. All right. And this water test we do is just to put some water droplets in it because the virus is spread by moist water droplets. And just to try to see if it takes in any water. You can see it's taken in some water. So then I just try to see if it soaks through to the back. I can't feel it getting through at all. So it definitely treads water good. So definitely got a five out of five on the water test. This is the page one mask that we were reviewing. We just try to review Amazon masks that are at least close to five stars with a lot of ratings. This one has 900 ratings. Um, this was probably the most comfortable mask that we've gotten on Amazon. It's probably tied for comfort with uh, another mask that we tried out called a Natural Life Mask. If you want to go to our uh, YouTube page and look for that review. Um, this mask is unique compared to the the rest of the mess that we tried out because it does come with the six carbon filters oh uh, if you wear glasses you don't want to buy this mask you pr can probably see that in the score floating on the screen or below the screen it's definitely not good for glasses my wife's glasses did get fogged up pretty pretty bad um, it does come with six carbon filters and it says if you're pretty busy you have to change them once a week if you wear it all day in a busy environment pretty much once a week if you go down there's a lot of questions I'll provide a link to this I'll provide this uh, Amazon link in the description below the video but it does say if you don't if you're not if you don't wear it all day every day you don't have to change the filter every week maybe every two to three weeks but um, that's about the main gist of this mask good luck Oh, and it's uh, eight forty nine and free shipping, and that's with the uh, one mask and oh six carbon filters, I believe.
I wasn't going to say what does an activated carbon filter do. It just helps trap more stuff like allergens, dust, mold, smoke, chemicals. Um, I think bacteria too, but just helps filter more stuff out, which is an added bonus since you're going to have to wear the mask anyway. So good luck on choosing a mask.